Time for another youth video report, so... Everybody's having a great day today. It is Wednesday, September the 23rd. We are in fall now, and you can probably feel that in the morning. So it is a little cooler. Uh, it gets warm a little bit in the afternoons and cool again in the evenings. So everybody that was so uh, upset and wanted the cooler temperatures, here we are. Leaves are falling, and hey, football in the SEC this weekend. So some of you are like, what? I don't care about that. Anyway, guys, today I want to read a verse of scripture to you from the book of Daniel, uh, Daniel chapter 3, uh, verses 16 and 17. And to set this up, let me just, this is the story about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and how King Nebuchadnezzar had made an ordinance or a law. They had constructed a, a large statue and said that when the music began to play, everybody had to bow down and worship this statue. And of course, we know what the uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said. But let me read it to you uh, from Daniel chapter 3. And it says this uh, in verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. For that is the for that is the case, our God, whom if that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. Now, you remember when we were doing our study on the Ten Commandments, one of the commandments commandments was, or is still, uh, I believe the second commandment, that you should not make any graven images um, to worship. So that you could, you know, saying that don't worship idols. And so most of us would say to ourselves, well, we don't have any, that's not something we have to concern ourselves with because uh, we're not, that's not something we're really tempted with. And you could say that about a lot of things. Uh, some of us have we're tempted by some things but not by other things this is not really something that you and I are tempted with so much directly okay but indirectly what are some things that we do sometimes put before God things that we that we used to say or used to say that this is not acceptable according to God's word but as society begins to accept it and say yeah we need to have this or that I mean, it won't be long before every state will have legalized marijuana or that it'll be a, you know, the states necessarily, but the government will say, you know, we're just going to fall on the sword on that one and, and allow marijuana and then other things. And so many things over time that we believe as Christians would, would be against, you know, God's law, God's word. And yet society says, well, we're going to, it's okay. And you and I have to decide, are we going to stand up against those things? Or are we going to fall right along with what society says and just go with it and say, we don't want to rock the boat. We don't want people to look at us like we're funny. We don't want to hurt anybody's feelings by our stance on it. So therefore, we're just going to go along with it. Guys, we can't do that. We have to stick with God's word. Yesterday, we talked about how that God's word uh, is as sharp as any two-edged sword. It's important. It is God's word, and that is what we need to live our life after. Guys, hope this helps you. Looking forward to our lunch this Sunday at Mellow Mushroom at 12. Hope you're planning to be there. God bless you. We will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.